Today I want to show you guys a quick, simple antenna upgrade on our front gate. We have a Ghost Controls gate controller. Shout out to those guys. Great product. Uh, very affordable. If you guys haven't seen them, they're uh, the model that we have. I don't know the exact model, but I'll put it down in the link below. It's really similar to a uh, like a Mighty Mule that you'd buy from TSC, but those didn't have the greatest uh, customer reviews. When I was looking online, I ran across Ghost Controls, American product, and great customer service. I've already uh, reached out to them a few times. Uh, somebody answers the phone when you call, which is hard to find these days. Um, the antenna that comes on this gate controller does not have the greatest range. It's, don't get me wrong, it's, it's plenty sufficient. I would just like it to go a little bit farther. Right now, we can get probably about 300 feet of range out of the, uh, the, the controller for it. Uh, you know, the remote. I did some digging online and it's apparently fairly simple to do a antenna upgrade on this thing. And so I'm going to take you guys along for that and we'll test the distances and see what kind of improvement we get by we're, we're going to uh, extend the antenna out a little bit. We're, we're going to raise it higher, which will hopefully give us significantly more range on this controller. So uh, we're going to go get that installed and we're going to do a couple of test runs. Real quick, I wanted to do a little control test before we upgrade the antenna. I want to see what kind of distance we're getting because I've never really measured it out. So I don't have exact measurements, but we're somewhere in the 400-ish feet range uh, from where we're at right here all the way to the gate. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but it's way over there at the front of the property. So I'm going to press this uh, button here on the remote to see if it opens. Okay, nothing's happening, so I'm going to press it a couple of times just for good measure. All right, so I got nothing. So that's uh, about 400 feet, uh, nothing so far. I'm going to go up a little bit closer, and we're going to see if it opens in. So now I am closer to the 350-foot uh, range, moved about 50 feet over. I'm going to press this button again and see what happens. All right, so the gate's opening. So I know you guys can't see that in the shot, but I'm looking directly at it over here. So about 350 feet range is, uh, is what it looks like we're getting out of this uh, remote right now. So I'll be very curious to see what it looks like once we extend that antenna, how far back we can go. I'm going to extend the antenna on this controller box here. I'm hoping that we get a lot more range coming down the road uh, so that this gate can be fully open by the time we get to it. I'd also like to be able to get to it from inside the house, uh, from the, like the kitchen area, things like that. Right now, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we want to extend this antenna to hopefully get just a little bit more range and a little bit more comfort out of uh, opening this gate from a distance. So this wire right here is the one that we're going to remove and we're going to extend it with a simple coax cable. All you need to extend the antenna on this is a simple standard TV coax cable and a little connector to join two of them together. All we're going to do is attach this to the controller box. The, uh, the antenna end is going to go here uh, via this little connector and then we're going to put it up on this, on this post here, get it up nice and high so that we can hopefully get more distance out of it. So if you look here, the antenna on the bottom of this Ghost Controls uh, controller is just a simple twist off just like a standard TV or satellite coax. That's it. Connect my new cable. Make sure it's on straight. I've got my new end for the new coax cable firmly on there. Connect this antenna piece to the other end of our coax cable. Next, that's it guys, it's connected. I'm gonna do some fit testing and I'm gonna get this stapled up to the post here.
back in this original spot that we could not get the gate to open in before uh, about 450 feet or so away the gate just opened again i don't know if you guys can see it but it's way over there on the other side of my beautiful wife sitting there uh, taking a break from cleaning the pool and we just gained about a hundred feet of distance uh, from doing that guys i had no idea how easy it would be to extend the gate antenna uh, on that ghost controller's uh, control panel i would have done it years ago if i would have known that it was that simple and that cheap to do uh, so if you guys are looking for increasing the range on your on your ghost controls gate controller less than ten dollars worth of materials and you're good to go as you guys saw that was super easy we've got uh, a very decent increase in distance and i've only tested 100 100 more feet i i imagine it'll go a lot more than that so hopefully this was helpful for you guys if you were thinking about doing that or wondering how hard it was it's not and uh, if you like this video guys hit that like and subscribe below i'll also uh, put the uh, any product links down below as well if you guys are interested in exactly what we used uh, also the gate controller uh, i'll put down there for you guys too so appreciate y'all watching and we'll catch you guys next time